Okay, so hello everyone. As you have seen in this video, let me show you and walk you through my homemade 4-in-1 jig or platform or whatever you want to call this thing. I made this sometime January to February of 2019, just after I got a hold of this circular saw. I have an unboxing video of this circular saw, link of which is in the description below. Now I was planning to make a video when I was making this, but unfortunately, much of those videos were lost by reason of corrupted files. So I figured I'd just provide you with a show and tell and maybe I will try to put together what files I have left soon, okay? Now this jig is built around this Evolution circular saw. And the reason being is that although this circular saw works great, you almost always need a vise to use it. And not only that, I found it very difficult to make 90 degree cuts, especially with thick steel like this. Making a cut like this freehand is very difficult. So what I would end up doing is clamp this and use this edge as a fence guide, like so. Now that's actually fine if you're only making one cut, but if you're making repetitive cuts, this technique becomes too tedious and tiring. Hence the reason for making this thing. Now when I was making this, I told myself that it must be versatile and and as much as possible, tool less. Meaning no tools required to prep this thing, okay? So let me show you the features of this platform. This thing is just made up of flat bars and angle irons, okay? The slide is just made up of three drawer slides, one, two, and three. The hinges are welded to the platform itself to be more stable and to eliminate play. And it's made of one fourth stainless steel tubing. I have a lock here to prevent this upper arm from rising and this thing is to lock the slide in place, okay? Now if you have this down, this will also prevent you from tilting this lock down, okay? Unlock it and you're able to do that. I also incorporated a carry handle and the way this works is just lift it up and tilt this down like so. Now with this down it helps distribute the weight when you are carrying this thing. Without this the weight of the lower base will be transferred to the hinges. See? So right there and you will be able to carry it with no problem. Now this fence is also adjustable, 90 degree cut. Should I require to do 45 degree cut, all I have to do is just unscrew this. Butterfly bolts. These are threaded holes, okay? 45 degree cuts, 30 degree cut. And not only that, I can also do reverse 45 degrees or 145 degrees. With this option, I no longer have to maneuver the entire length of the material from one side to the other. This is especially useful when cutting angle irons. Now, as for different angles, all I have to do is just use this vice grip and clamp the fence in place. This is the reason why I opted for this type of base with spaces and edges rather than having a solid base. This way, I can use these corners and edges to clamp vice grips on two. Now, sorry about the chickens, they're not mine, they belong to the neighbor, so there's nothing I can do about them. Now as for the cutoff in this fence, I'll explain the importance of this later. This is for adjusting the height of this upper arm. This way I can completely adjust the upper arm parallel with the base. As for this vise, it's also very simple. All I have to do is just do this, like so, and voila, okay? Very easy. Quickly adjustable, okay? clamp down small pieces okay or should I require to clamp down larger pieces I no longer have to just unscrew this all I have to do this is a half nut okay show you like so and I can just do that this way I can push that in and Turn the vise, tighten it down, and 
just like that. Now this screw is for clamping down small or short pieces. Like say I want to cut this. If I'm going to try to clamp that down, there will be an uneven distribution of force. And this will just slip away, okay? I will adjust this in accordance with the width of this material. Okay, now that allows me to clamp this down. Now, assuming I need to cut a piece that is larger or that can no longer fit the jaws of this vise, all I have to do is just remove this, remove the fence, okay, just like that. And I will just clamp the materials down with vice grips. Now, in order to mount this saw onto this platform, all I have to do is, it's also very simple, insert these specially made brackets, like so. Now, I won't tighten this down just yet. I'll insert the circular saw, okay, just like that, push that in. I will tighten the circular saw down. Now before I will tighten these butterfly bolts down, I will have to make sure that the blade is perfectly aligned. I'll use this straight edge and make sure that the blade is perfectly aligned with this. And this is what these screws are for. So I can adjust the blade also on this side. Once I am satisfied with the alignment, I can now tighten these butterfly bolts down. Now in order to make sure that the blade is perpendicular to the base, all I have to do is to unscrew this as well as the screw on the front. This would now allow me to tilt the blade. I can still also make use of the depth adjustment of the saw should I require the need to do so. And also, as you can see, I purposely left a gap here. This way, should I require the need to cut, to make a vertical or lengthwise cut, I can do so. And I'll just have to use vice clips to clamp it in place. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, I just tied the blade guard with a zip tie. And so now let me show you some clips of this thing in action.
Okay, so as you have seen, it works perfectly well. And the wonderful thing about this is that should I require to use this handheld, all I have to do is just unscrew this, pull this out, and I can use this handheld. And as easy as installing it again, like so, and then locking it in place. Okay, so now let's move on to another feature of this platform, which is the angle grinder stand attachment. Now I can choose to either install this here or here, depending upon the necessity required. I'll tighten it down. I'll put this carry handle out of the way. Now installing the angle grinder is also very easy. Just like that. Lock this down and that's it. And the wonderful thing about this design is that it can take any type of angle grinder without any modifications required. But I prefer to use this angle grinder because it's got a variable speed adjustment. I have an unboxing video of this angle grinder, link of which is in the description below. Now once you have the angle grinder installed or mounted, you can now proceed to install the blade. Now as for adjusting this, it's also very simple. All you need to do is just turn this counterclockwise. You can either move this way or that way. See? Now this articulation is very important. I'll show you the importance of this later on, okay? Now using this, I can make sure that the blade is perfectly perpendicular with the base. All I have to do is manipulate the angle and then once I'm satisfied with that, I can tighten this down. Just this one, and it all tightens down. This also comes with a depth adjustment. If I turn that clockwise, I can adjust the height of the blade. Now, this feature is very useful, especially when making groove cuts. You can also use this as a chop saw or a sliding chop saw. This also comes equipped with a blade guard, you see, this is just a socket driver that I welded on this guard and then just push it in and that's it. This is where the importance of the cutoff in this fence comes in. I'll show you. If I install this fence like so, that would prevent the angle grinder from going down, see? So what I would do is Bring this down, okay, and then install it like so. Screw the butterfly bolts in, just like that. So do 45 degree cuts and 60 degree cuts. For any other angles, I'll just clamp it down with a vice grip. Now, because I decreased the profile of this fence in order to accommodate the height of the angle grinder, I also need to decrease the profile of this vise, right? Otherwise, what's the point? Right? And this is what this thing is for. This is a vise extension. Installing it is very easy, as you can see. And this is to complement the low profile of the vise fence. With this, I can clamp down small pieces, and just the same with this, it also has one. Okay, so I'll tighten it down. As you can see, it works just fine. So now I can proceed to bring the upper arm down, lock it, and I can proceed to cut this drill bit. Okay, as you see, so once we're done, should I require to remove everything, it's also very easy. Just unlock this, this as well, and voila. So now, let me show you some more clips of this sliding angle grinder stand chop saw in.
So another feature of this platform is the drill bit sharpener. Again, very simple, two less installation. Tighten this down. I'll unscrew these butterfly bolts here. So this is one and this is two. Okay. Now I will install this angle grinder stand here. As you can see, there's a slot. I'll explain that in a while. Okay. And one butterfly bolt here. And I'm not going to lock that down just yet. That way I can slide this and make adjustments. Okay. I'm going to install this diamond coated disc. Okay. What I will do next is use this perfectly sharpened or steel factory sharpened drill bit. Okay. I will install that in this chuck, tighten that down, and make sure that okay, its orientation is like so. Now this way I can sharpen each side just by turning this. Okay. There's a ball bearing that pushes on that groove that indexes the chuck. Okay. This is where the importance of this articulation comes in. It allows me to set the angle of the disc. Then I'll lock that down. Okay. Then I'll proceed to tightening down the butterfly bolts. Check the angle. and correct as necessary, okay? So now once I'm satisfied with that, I can now tighten this down and just like that. So check the angle, okay? Now we will cut this flute, okay? And the way we do that, is we need to readjust our angle grinder. Okay. Okay. Let's check. Hold on. Okay. okay. So once we're satisfied with the angle, we can all. Tighten it down. Okay, so now let me again provide you with some clips of this thing in action. Okay, so now let us move on to the last and final feature of this platform, which is sharpening saw blades. Now, I really had to include this feature because these saw blades are not cheap, okay? So I cannot just afford to throw them away when they get dull. And so the way we go about by sharpening this is remove this cup. Again, tool less, okay? Washer, close that, okay? Tighten it down. I'll move this out of the way. Okay. 
now I will install the angle grinder using these butterfly nuts. Okay. And here as well. Okay, so we can make adjustments. Okay, so pull this out. We'll make my adjustments accordingly, and once I'm satisfied with that, I will tighten the angle grinder down. Okay, so once we're satisfied with that, we'll move here. Bring this in, like so, and lock that in place. Now this will index the blade, okay? Okay, so I'll show you, see? Okay, so and not only does this index the blade, I can also adjust this screw here in order for me to prevent cutting too much material, okay? See? Pay attention. So it's no longer hitting the diamond disc. And also in order to avoid pushing the slide all the way in like that, this is where this stopper comes in. I'll screw this, okay? Pull this out and flip it, okay? And adjust it here and tighten this down, okay? Just like that. Okay, so with that stopper in place, that will now prevent me from pushing the blade more than necessary. And also, I have the screw to fine tune the adjustment. Okay. okay, so now we can proceed to sharpening this blade. Okay, so now as you can see, we're now done sharpening these edges, see? So the next sharpening step that I'm going to do is to sharpen this tip, okay? So we need to sharpen one tooth this way and the other that way and so on and so forth. So the way we can accomplish that is to again readjust our angle grinder, okay? So this is, like I've said, the articulation of the angle grinder stand comes to play. Okay, so I do believe I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to tighten everything down. Okay. Now again, I will adjust this stopper this way. I will only remove material that is necessary. Okay, so let me fine tune the adjustment. Okay, like that. So the way I'm going to go about with this is that I'm going to jump one tooth, okay? Sharpen this, then jump one tooth, not that, then this, then jump one tooth, then this, okay, and that, okay? Okay, so that we don't lose count, I'm going to mark it here. Now let's sharpen. Okay. okay, so as you can see, this tip right now has a slight incline to it. Now we're going to install this blade again, and then we're going to do this set, okay? One, two, three, okay? Now we will now adjust the angle grinder accordingly, okay? okay I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to tighten this down. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so I hope you can see that. Now I have a perfectly sharpened carbide blade.
So anyway, I do believe that's all that there is to show. This is my homemade creation, my 4-in-1 platform. So I made it myself and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Like, share, subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to and as always, thank you for watching.